Hi, this is Linda Piccinini. And this is Bruce Stevenson. And together we are today's dental consulting. And today we are going to show you a little video with what is happening with Delta Dental and what are called copay fee schedules. Another title for this little presentation might be Thank Goodness for Open Dental. Because what we're going to show you how to deal with is so much easier with open dental software. That's one of the reasons why we only do consulting for offices that are using open dental. Times have changed in a whole lot of ways. Uh, you can go from plowing a field to with a horse to being much more efficient and plowing a field with a tractor, but it would be helpful if somebody kind of explained how the tractor worked to you rather than just put you behind the wheel and turn you loose. That's kind of what we do with open dental uh, offices, is try to show you how to drive the tractor, how to deal with things in a little bit more modern way. Open Dental allows you to have different kinds of fee schedules. Most dental management software only has what are called normal ones. Open Dental will allow you to do a copay or an out of network, but particularly interested today in the copay fee schedules. It's a different kind of fee schedule. I'm going to show you how it works in just a second. The reason that you need this is because Delta of Washington has a new type of arrangement here for calculating your fees and how much the patient owes. Okay, up on the top here, we've got the Delta of Washington PPO fee schedule. Okay, the next one is the Delta of Washington Premier fee schedule for the same, the same procedure we're talking about here. You know, in Delta of Washington, there's not a very big difference between those two, but there is a difference. What's new is this guy, also from Delta of Washington. And what they're saying is, this is all we're going to pay, $26, for this procedure. Now, you know, you know that normally Delta will pay 100% for a periodic exam. Okay, so if you had a PPO plan, uh, it's going to pay $39. If you had the Premier, it's going to pay $43. But what Delta is saying is, no, we're only going to pay $26. But... Here's the kicker, and this is what makes it more difficult to calculate. This is how much Delta will pay, but the patient's going to be responsible for the balance. Okay, in this case, there was no balance, paid 100%. In this case, we're gonna to have to subtract that $26 from, the, that and use the premier fees, from that $43 in order to calculate how much the patient's going to owe. This is not how much the patient's going to owe. This is how much Delta is going to pay. So the best way to do this, I think, is to put it in a spreadsheet. And the trick is getting these fee schedules over into the spreadsheet. That takes a little bit of work. But then you can do the calculation, have the spreadsheet do the calculation. This amount over here, which is how much the patient's going to have to pay, is simply your premier fee. In this case, you've got to know this premier or PPO fee schedule. In this case, it's a premier fee schedule plus the allowance for this particular copay fee schedule. And there are at least 10 different plans I'm aware of, and they all have different numbers over here. It'd be one thing if there's only one you have to maintain, but there's at least 10 different ones. Okay, so we'll let the spreadsheet calculate the difference, and this is how much the patient's going to be responsible for for these procedures. Okay, a little bit complicated, but at least with Open Dental, we can then import this number into our fee schedule, into a special fee schedule, and then Open Dental will do all the math for us. Whew. Thank goodness for Open Dental. Uh, keep in mind that there's 100 different fees approximately in the Delta fee schedule and in the copay fee schedule. And there's at least 10 of these copay fee schedules out there that Delta has. So that's about a thousand different fees that you have to enter just for Delta. That's in addition to your regular Delta Premier and PPO fees, plus any of your other fee schedules you have for any other non-Delta plans. That's an awful lot of work. And I've called this the PPO tax. It's kind of a hidden tax, but it's something to be aware of. Again, thank goodness with Open Dental, we can import these things directly with doing very little work. All right, so how's this work? Let's take a look at Donald Duck here. Uh, never mind the insurance, that's wrong. What I wanted you to see was down here. 
Also, it doesn't matter whether we do category percentage or PPO percentage, and I like PPO percentage better, but this is easier to show. So we're going to put our Washington Delta Service uh, fee schedule in there. This is the premier one. And then let's look at some procedures in treatment plan. So we can see these are our premier fees over here, okay, and totals up to $308, 100% of which would be paid by Delta in this case. Okay, so the dentist is going to collect 308, Delta is going to pay that whole amount. Okay, now let's look at this copay fee schedule. We have to put it in down here. Okay, so you have to slide this bar down, and here's your copay fee schedules down here. This one's called Boeing because that's the plan that has this. Okay, make sure that's in there. You can have a whole bunch of different copay fee schedules. In the case of Delta, you may have 10 different ones in there. Okay, so we're going to change that, put that in down there. Then go back and look at our treatment plan again. Now don't forget to update your fees always when you go back here after you've made a change like that. So if you look, we still got $308 here that the dentist gets to charge, but in this case, the Delta is not going to pay $308, they're only going to pay $212, and the patient's going to be responsible for $96. Remember before this is all covered at 100%, now it's not because we've got these calculated fees, discounts in here basically for Delta. Okay, So it doesn't make any difference for how much total the dentist is going to get. The difference is you're going to have to collect more from the patient. Okay? Less from the insurance company, more from the patient. Here's what the patient gets. Now, this is an actual EOB for looking at some of these different procedures. I'm going to show you this in just a second. And Delta says something pretty interesting. Now remember, we always want to bill UCR. So on the claim, we're going to send our UCR fees. So that's what these are. And then Delta is showing a network discount. And you can show this too if you use PPO percentage, and that's why we like that in Open Dental. But you can only do PPO percentage if you're using Open Dental, not any other software. So you can show the patient, just like Delta has done here, this is how much you save by having this plan. Okay, this is how much you save by having the treatment done in our office. Okay, we're going to go over here. This is what I showed you before. Delta is going to pay 212. The patient is going to be responsible for $96. Okay. This is an actual EOB from the Delta website showing two different patients, but pretty much with the same procedures. Okay, and if we look over here, we see the UCR fee is 452 in both cases. If we look here is the allowance, okay, this is this in this case. This is the Delta Premier fee that you're allowed to charge. So the dentist is allowed to charge $308 to this patient, but only $256 to this one because this patient has the Delta PPO plan. In this case, Delta is going to pay $253, 100% of your allowed fee. And so the patient pays nothing right here. In this case, this is just like I showed you before, the patient's going to pay $96. So it's interesting to look at this. In this case, the dentist gets to charge more money. You're reimbursed more money. But part of that, in this case almost $100, comes from the patient. In this case, the dentist gets reimbursed less money, but all of it comes from Delta. So Delta's saving 40 some bucks here. 41 bucks and what they have to pay out, but they're giving the dentist a higher fee schedule. So who's picking up the freight on this? The patients. Okay, so pretty good deal for Delta, better deal for dentists, not so hot for patients. An interesting way to do this, I think, but you better understand it. And here we've got our fee schedules. This is just the fee list in here. And the fee schedule is showing the Delta Premier, the Delta PPO, and then this copayment fee schedule. So this is how much, because it's a copayment fee schedule, it's not the fee schedule that Delta sends you. Delta sends you a fee schedule saying this is how much we pay. So you have to calculate the difference between your Premier fee, in this case, how much Delta says they're going to pay, and this is the difference. This is how much the patient's going to have to pay. Okay, so you open dental, keep track of all this for you. So next time somebody says, why do you think Open Dental is better than XYZ software? 
explain this to them or just show them this video. So what we've shown you hopefully is an illustration of why we only deal with open dental software offices. We really do think it's a superior product and it makes running a modern dental office much, much easier. So our training and consulting involves showing people how to use open dental more efficiently. Some little tricks uh, that we've learned over the years and hopefully make offices more profitable. So if there's anything we can do to help you, give us a call. You can call Linda at 209-603-9944 or you can look on our website, todaysdentalconsulting.com and you can send us an email from the website. So hopefully this has been helpful. My name is Bruce Stevenson. And this is Linda Piccinini and give us a call. We can help you.